Hey there, welcome to First Five. If you're looking for encouragement, you came to the right place. Let's dive in. If there's one thing that I wish I could change in my life, it's my affinity toward pride. I feel like for a majority of my life and probably till I die, I will always wrestle with my pride and embracing humility. And I believe the Lord has done a work in my life. He has taken me from <laughs> one step to another, to another, to another in terms of me, the embracing of humility in my life. But every once in a while, pride still creeps up creeps up in the most random moments. It's just something that kind of like seeps its way into my life in times where I least expect it. And I don't know if you ever found yourself in that situation before where your pride is, is keeping you from experiencing the fullness of what God has for you in this life. Your pride is keeping you from experiencing um, all of the grace that is available with humility, all of the wisdom that's available with humility. I think I think oftentimes we find ourselves in so many situations where pride can just creep up in the most random of ways like and the most random of times. And so that's definitely something that is that has been so present in my life over the last few years and uh, really over the course of my life in general. But it's been interesting watching my soul kind of wrestle in the tension of uh, wanting to embrace humility, wanting to grow with Jesus, but then my flesh wanting to um, kind of live out this prideful way. And the reason why I bring this up is because we're reading in Proverbs 11 today, and it says this, and it's just one verse, but I want to read it to you. It says, when pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. Proverbs 11, 2 says, when pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. The Bible is telling us that with pride, when pride rises up in our lives, when pride rears its ugly head in our lives, then comes disgrace. That word disgrace is kalon in Hebrew, and it simply means dishonor. And it's dishonor particularly of self. It's a personal dishonor honor. So when pride comes, when pride arises in our lives, there is, it does a dishonor to ourselves. It, it disgraces ourselves. Not, not even just thinking about the other people around us, but we can just focus energy and attention on ourselves. When pride comes, it brings dishonor upon us, but with humility comes wisdom the wisdom to know how to move and how to navigate, the wisdom to know what decisions to make in certain times, the wisdom to know when to speak up and when not to speak up. When humility comes in our lives, wisdom comes right along with it. And so we can see that, that, that pride ultimately carries baggage. That's something to take into consideration today that whether you knew it or not, pride carries baggage. And the baggage that comes along with pride is disgrace and dishonor. The baggage that comes along with pride is a personal dishonor, that it is quite literally um, a dishonor to you. It's dishonoring to yourself, to your person, to your life, to allow pride to creep in. But humility comes with a gift, and it's the gift of wisdom the gift of understanding, the gift of be, of discernment, the gift of being able to discern whether to make one decision or another. With humility comes wisdom, but with pride comes the baggage of disgrace and dishonor. So I want to encourage you today. Whatever area of your life you feel like pride may be rising up, maybe it's pride in the work that you do, maybe it's pride, um, gosh, in, in your relationship, maybe it's pride in your friendships, maybe it's pride, um, just just a general sense of over-accomplishment, whatever it may be in your life, wherever pride is rising up, I want you today to take some time 
to ask God for humility, for his humility, for a spirit of humility to enter into your life so that you may gain wisdom and discernment on what to do next. And I'll be praying the same thing because it's something that I'm actively dealing with, actively struggling through. And so let's just pray now. God, we just ask you for a spirit of humility. We ask that that you would grant us humility so that we may have wisdom and discernment for what it is that you're calling us to. God, we know that when pride comes, it brings the baggage of disgrace and dishonor on our lives and the people around us. But God, we know that when humility comes, when we accept the gift of humility, when we embrace humility, your humility, the humility that you displayed by humbling yourself, Jesus, to the cross, humbling yourself to death on a cross, because of the humility you displayed, we have access to that humility. And we know that with that humility comes wisdom. With that humility comes discernment to be able to know what to do next. And so God, would you grant us the spirit of humility that Jesus displayed? Would you give us humility in our lives? Would you give, would give us humility in our, our workspaces? Would you give us humility for every portion of our lives so that we may be able to embrace wisdom and walk out what it is that you've called us to do? We love you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. I really hope that encouraged you. We'll talk soon.